Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGym007 and today we're looking at the Advanced Perks plugin. Now this is a really cool and well made plugin which allows your players to get perks similar to other games like Call of Duty where you can choose which ones you want and they can give you various benefits. So if we go ahead and look at the commands, if you do forward slash perks, that's going to bring up the main GUI. Now in here it's going to do a couple of things. It's going to list all the perks that are available. So there's the glowing perk, the bat perk, chicken, etc. We can go on to the next page and there's a few more here. And then below it you will see a grey icon. That means it's deactivated and currently I don't have any activated. Now what I could do is just go ahead and click all of these to activate them. Um, and that will give me every single perk. Now, because I'm op, I can have access to all of these, but your normal players will only have access to ones they have permission for. So you can see a few of the perks working now. We've got the glowing perk, we've got the bat perk, and then we've got the jump speed boost and some other ones. So if I were to set it to night time, you'll see the bat perk is working very, very well. And then what you can do is forward slash perks toggle and then a player's username and then you can toggle a certain perk on or off that's another way you can do it for a player if they don't have permission so if i toggle on the bat perk you can see suddenly i lose my night vision and it is night time again so there's a couple of other useful commands so if you do four slash perks and bring up the GUI again. In the bottom left hand corner you can disable every single one of them, yeah, which is a very quick and easy method to do that. And then if players don't have access to the forward slash perks command, they can actually go to, up to an NPC. So if you do forward slash perks and then NPC location, that is going to bring the NPC, which originally was over there, and this is going to be his new location, and you can simply just right click him to get the same GUI up and choose which perks you want. Um, so you can put him in spawn or in a certain warp location to allow players to come here, change their perks and maybe get new ones. And as I mentioned, each perk has a specific permission. So what you could do is give certain groups certain permissions. If people rank up, they can have more access to perks. Or you could have people using another plugin have the ability to purchase different permissions, which would once again allow them access to different perks. Hopefully the developer in the future adds kind of a monetary thing to each perk and you can set prices for them and have people buy them, which would be pretty cool. And the final command is the perks data command. You can do that for yourself or for a certain player. That is simply going to tell you which perks you have currently enabled. And as you can see, I have all of those. So that is how you would use it in game. As you can see, it's very straightforward. It's just a pretty cool feature to make uh, normal gameplay a bit more interesting make people a bit more powerful so let's go ahead and jump into the config file and see what we can do in that so here we are in the SM Picnic control panel and as you can see there are three YML files now there's really not too much in the config up at the top we've got a bit about the NPC whether it's enabled and uses a particular skin and the location then you've got a bit about the perks and then how it is stored so you don't really need to edit anything in there, then you've obviously got the database. The messages.yml, this is everything that's going to pop up in chat, and then we have the NPC name and the prefix that uses in chat, so you could change that if you wanted. But the main thing you want to go into is the perks.yml. In here there's a few things, so we've obviously got the plugin enabled, and then it gives you an example of what the permissions should look like for each perk. Up at the top here we've got disabled world, so for each perk you'd want to set that. And then we've got a list of all the different perks, there's quite a few of them. We've got the identifier, so the name, whether it's enabled or not, the permission, and then the worlds it's disabled in. So if you did have like a creative mode or something, you probably wouldn't want any perks in that mode, so you could disable all of these in the creative world, for example. Um, but that is how you would do that, and that is effectively everything in the config file. So it's a really cool plugin, very easy to use, and it's just a really nice feature you can add to your server. And here we are on the Spigot page, you can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.18. If we scroll down, there is a custom perk feature. This is a bit more complicated because it does require some outside coding and actually creating kind of another add-on plugin. So if you know how to do that, um, more power to you, but that is a little bit more complicated than just tweaking a config file. And then if we scroll down, we've got obviously the GUI up here and then the configs which we looked at permissions and then if you have any trouble just uh, send him a private message on Spigot or Discord and I'm sure they'll be able to help you out. But if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me, subscribe, like, comment and I'll see you next time.